Hi, it's Mary again. I wanted to show what you can do with some broken jewelry. I went to Goodwill on about September 2nd. They had a sale going, green tag items, 50% off. I got this glass vase with the green tag, as is jewelry, for 50% off. The vase was full. It was originally $19.99, so I got it for $10. Um, let me show you approximately, oh, there we go, what I got. Anyway, we are going to take, as soon as I figure out how to work this camera, we're going to make Christmas earrings out of some pearls that was in the, in the vase. They might be real, they might not. They're actually knotted in between. I don't find seams. I don't find anything that makes it look fake, but I'm pretty sure they're not real. Anyway, first we're going to move the camera so you can see. All right. We're going to cut. So we can take off a few of them. I'm not going to take all of them off. Actually, they weren't knotted. So the odds are they were probably, I got them in a little circle there so you can see them. Oh, they are knotted. We're going to do, I'm going to show you one, but I, I'm going to end up doing about four pairs. Because I am meeting with some friends from high school tomorrow, and I'm going to bring these to them. Okay, two, four, six. We're going to make another pair. And then, let's just do a couple more, because I have a daughter-in-law that I will make a pair for. All right, now, the knot is still there, so they won't fall off, and I'll save them for next time. All right, so let's clean up this little bit of a mess right there. We're going to take and open up. The pins that I got at Walmart. I showed those last time. Usually for under three dollars you can get a lot of things at Walmart that's usable. I like stainless steel. I mentioned that last time. We're going to get out some earrings. I do like to leave things in their boxes just because for me it's easier if I know. Oh, gee, I like that earring style. Where did I get those at? Oh, I got them at Walmart. You can also go online to Fire Mountain Gems. They sell a very good product. If you don't mind getting stuff in the mail. See, I stuck the post through. The pin has a head on it like a regular sewing pin would have. And it covers the hole. Won't fall. We're going to bend it just a little bit. Come on. These are good posts. They don't want to bend. Okay. See, you have it at an angle. We're going to take and cut that, which I didn't bring my good cutters, so we're going to use my husband's wire cutters. We're going to give it about a half inch. And these are dull, so they don't want to cut. We're going to use these. These, we talked about it last time, you don't want 
ones with teeth. These do have teeth. I'm going to be very gentle. I'm not going to do any really tight grips. But we're going to curl these. And normally I have needle nose pliers that are perfectly round. Let's see if these do better. It's nice to have the right equipment to use, but some of us don't. Okay, we have that now in a circle. We're going to put that so it doesn't roll off the table. And I have to disappear and crawl on the floor and pick it up. We're going to open up. I may have to do that a little bit more. There we go. We're going to hook that on. Shouldn't be a problem. Now we're going to use the pliers to close that. And we have a nice pearl earring. We're going to do that several more times. And while I'm doing that, I said last time I had my house up for sale. It had been up for sale since June. We'd had offers, and then people would change their minds. We live in the Columbia River Gorge, and people think that because you have 13 acres, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Tom is friends of the gorge decided that we shouldn't be able to do that even though you pay property taxes even though you live on the property even though you're not seen from the Oregon side they do not like you to be able to do just anything with your property and a couple people thought they would be able to subdivide the property and build on it. Yeah, you can't do that. Out where I'm at, even though you can't see Oregon really, I can see the tops of the mountains. I did see the Eagle Creek fire through my trees. And number two. But I can't see buildings, houses, 84, nothing. I cannot see Mount Hood. I cannot see Beacon Rock, which is a wonderful place to hike if you want to go hiking sometime. Just make sure you buy your parking pass. They will ticket you. But we have had another offer on our house. We have accepted it. We are getting ready to move. We'll probably be going to Long Beach, Washington. But anyway, as I said, people backed out a couple of different times because they thought, well, gee, 13 acres, I own it. I should be able to do what I want with it. These are probably the same people who voted in restrictions on living in the gorge. But anyway, we are going to make a couple more. Because you're just going to repeat what you're doing here. We have until the, the uh, October 31st, we will sign paperwork. We are done with inspections. We are 
waiting now for the bank to assess the value and make sure that we're not asking too much for it. Come on. There we go. Okay. I hope my friends don't watch this. That way they don't know they're getting these. Nice little surprise. Since I haven't seen some of them since junior high and high school. And that's been over 40 years. Anyway, I doubt they'll see this. I don't think they even know I do this make jewelry. Some of them do. A few of them I've talked to. Yeah. Ooh. Now see that one didn't really want to go through. You will have that happen once in a while. You will have to get a finer but strong pen to uh, sometimes do these things. Okay. Got one more to make after this. And you do want to make they make sure they go together at the bottom like that one didn't really want to if you don't they sometimes if you're a bad habit and sleeping your earrings which i sometimes do i think we all make that mistake um they will come apart if you don't make the uh, close it real well, it will come apart. So you can take uh, uh, super glue. I like to use the gel because when you put it on, it stays pretty much right there. It, it doesn't move. There we go. Now, I have one pair. I have one pair. I have two pairs. I have three pairs of earrings. It didn't take me very long. Um, I will make some more when this video is done. At some point, we're going to make some, and we're going to decorate them. With the New Year's coming up, there is sparkly purple and multicolored nail polish that I bought at Dollar Store. I got paint brushes at Biomart. I got a nice big set of paint brushes for under $4. I think it was $3.47 or $3.50, something like that. We're going to be using one of the, the finer tipped ones, but we're going to take a pair of these and we're going to paint on them and decorate them and make them more festive. That is all for now. Um, I hope my friends like the earrings. We'll find out tomorrow and I'll see you another time. Bye!